Hello and welcome to part 2 of how to create a laptop in Blender and Jim. So in this part we're going to create the texture of the laptop. So let's first unwrap it. So select everything. Oh, wait a minute. And unwrap it. Smart UV project. I do normally something like this. And Let's see what happens. So now we're going to change it a little bit. Um, the screen and the keyboard is the most important part of uh, the computer, of the laptop. Well, in this model. So those two parts have to be as big as possible. So, well, let's unwrap it again. So you have to, to see what fits the best in your uh, Thing and normally I do a little bit of margin between the two faces, and it's a lot easier to make the texture if the UV map is with straight lines. So we have to do that. Um, now we're going to add a new image, and that's color grid. And all right, so. Now you can see where those faces are and you can just move it around a little bit until you think, well, this is looking great. So we have to change a lot in this uh, UV map, but we can probably do that. Um, first, B2 is the place where, well, the, the keyboard is. So that is this part. Well, this part, it has to be a little bit bigger, but Let's first just see uh, how everything is, etc. So, well, the back, the both backs are not that important. So we can scale that down a little bit, and that is this face. Well, scale down dot seventy five. And also, um, I think this is this one. Yeah, also this one dot seventy five. So just moved around a little bit. So we have to move it around until you think oh, it's looking great. So I think Q protection will work a little bit better here. So let's go this up so we can edit it. So let's do it uh, one by one. First select this one. And well, let's just select first this one and hide it. We also select this one and hide it. And See now we have two faces that are unnecessary, so let's delete those. Well, actually four if you think it's on both sides of the laptop. So delete those. And well, maybe if you do now Q protection, it will directly do everything. So we have to move it around a little bit. Um, we get a seam somewhere, and the best place to get that seam is this place, this seam. Because probably you won't see this part of the laptop that good, but this part of the laptop you will see. Well, I can't, uh, you'll see a lot better. So, let's try to, uh, to do this. And also move this one. Just make straight lines of it, straight lines of it.
and now we have to make one uh, or make part of it so I think this one fits by this one so just move as close as possible to the other seam and select both of this one and scale it down to zero and we did something wrong I think yes we did um, we have to move this one to there and now size the I think the XS yes to zero and now it's one part so we got the first thing and here will the seam come so we have to um, at this part here and we have to move this part well I guess I have, we have to move uh, to here yes and now the seam will come exactly where we want it to so We can do this again for the other part, but we can also just remove, delete this part, select anything, curse to select it, shift D, period K, and and scale it minus one. Also, I can do the. We're going to uh, well somewhere. It has to stand here. Um, recalculate the normals, and of course we have to change UV map a little bit. So. Oh, I think I did something even wrong here so uh, that's a shame but it's not not that big of a deal so we have just to change something um, let's see what we did ah we have to size this one minus one on the x axis and scale down yes this is a lot better and also this one that work well, we can do it just for every part again so maybe this will work yeah so just delete again the other part and well Duplicate again this part and we do exactly the same as we did last time. So flip direction. Wait a minute. I did something wrong there, so. Shift D, size, my. Size 
minus 1 right xs recalculate so let's move this around scale down a little bit it's not that important part and move to there so we i think uv map is already looking great only this part yeah we have to to add uh, to this part because otherwise you will look uh, you've got two seams well there only has to be one seam so we have to well this didn't work um, Well, if you didn't, if you don't do this, it will be a kind of hard to create texture. So we we need to do this, otherwise the whole model will suck. So I know it takes a lot of time, but surely it's worth it. So let's uh, let's try to do this. So scale down, move it to there. Yeah, this this is a lot better. So now hope they will fit zero and well they don't fit. That's a shame. always a kind of hard to make this perfect use. but we have to do this a shame but well sometimes uh, shit happens <laughs> um, It looks like it has to be. Well, and this is most times a big problem. It, it will take a lot of time, so probably I won't do this for the whole object in this tutorial. It will take too long time, so I will do this off screen, but you know the basics, I think. And well, I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you've got any questions, just ask below in the questions in the comment section, and we'll try to answer it. And I think this tutorial is done. Um, of course, we need to do something uh, more, but just remember um, this kind of handy this, this part is not joined by, dust, by that part, so you can uh, leave that, and, the, uh, and only this part you have to change. So if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want more tutorials.